Welcome back, everybody. It is time to play our weekly game called What's It Worth? We ask antiques expert Dr. Lori the value of three items chosen from the PTL mailbox. And Dr. Lori joins us now. We already saw one of the items, and it's something. So, <laughs> it's I got something. It's something. <laughs> Hey, it's good to see you. And today's show is brought to you by the color blue. Oh, <laughs> I like that. It's a lovely assortment, yes. It's very peaceful. Everything's blue and calm. That's right. But I'm not calm. I'm excited because I'm coming to the Pittsburgh Home Show for the fall. Woo! Can't Woo. wait. Can't wait to see you. All right, yeah, well, let's, we let's want get, to see you. Let's get to our first item. It's a Pittsburgh yep. souvenir sent in by Chuck. Yeah, so it's a it's a copper bas relief. Basically, it is a stamped or molded out copper tray, and it's a souvenir of Pittsburgh. It is from the mid 1900s, like 1930 or so, and um, I really like it. I have to say, I like the condition. I like the complexity of it. I love, of course, to see all of those great Pittsburgh bridges. It's nice. It's a unique piece. I've never seen anything like it. Was this mass it, manufactured or was this done mm -hmm. like by hand, yeah. did you say? Yeah, more than one uh, mass produced. I would think it's between 12 and 16 inches long. I think it's pretty big too, pretty large. Hmm. I yeah. don't know. I This one, it puzzles me. Did you say copper? Yes, copper. And copper is Well, that pricey. alone could push the, push the price up. So yeah, maybe I should start too. with a different number than I started with. Yeah, you think? Yeah, a, li a little bit of money, you know. A little bit of money, okay. You know, not like Dr. Lori jewelry money, but you know. Okay, Ooh. no, <laughs> we know that it okay. takes a lot of money. All right. <laughs> All right, I said two fifty. I said two ten. One hundred and fifty dollars. You know, this oh, was a one. I don't I know, know if you can. I, I started with a one two, I, and then I, I thought. I do see that. Oh, <sighs> she's trying to coach us upward. I could. We thought but you were giving us hints. So, right, was, so David gets a point. Okay. All right, now to the pants that we just saw. <laughs> and you know what? I remember pants like this. These are from the 1970s, sent in by John. These are fantastic. <laughs> I was like, these are fantastic. Now, um, first of all, all different patchwork. Of course, very early 1970s. They are bell bottoms to boot. Uh, they have patches from World War II on them. Some oh. of those, there's the 11th Airborne, which happened to be my father's troop, which was interesting. Oh, wow. So the 11th, yeah, I mean, that was just coincidental. But uh, so a lot of World War II patches, which was typical in the 70s, a lot of people would wear those and add those to their clothes. But this is great. Perfect for, you know, you know, a concert when you're going to see, I don't know, the Stones or somebody. So <laughs> now something like this, because I think some people will hold on to clothes from different eras. Yeah. Something yeah. like this. Um, because it's so unique and individual, does it have more value than a regular? This is, this is I don't want to give too much away, but I will say that vintage clothes of all types, particularly those pieces that are unique, are very valuable. And you know what? Anyone wanting to do a movie set in the 70s yeah. and would want these, this kind of costume, you right. know, like these kind of clothes. Um, so, yeah. okay. Who Prop made the shops. jeans? Do we know? Prop shops do very, very well. I'm sorry? Do we know who made the jeans? Like, are they like a Levi's or anything like that? I don't or? know. Okay. I don't know. I don't know who made the jeans. I think that they just continue to apply other textiles on top of them. Okay. But I will say that prop shops for movies, exactly true, David. Uh, they pay a pretty penny for these pieces when consulting on film. All right, wow. I went back to my old offer of two fifty. All right, I went. I didn't go that high. I went one fifty. But I, I feel like if I were selling it to a movie studio, I'd go three fifty. You should go 500, no matter who you're selling it no, to. No, wow! Yeah. They're worth Dr. a lot of money. Dr. Lori, <laughs> All that's right, wild. Okay, that's really based cool. On, based on actual sales records, where similar pieces have sold, that's what all these appraisals are. Dropping all my stuff, Dr. Lori, because I'm in okay, shock okay, by the $500. <laughs> all right, let's. We have a tiebreaker now. Let's get to the walking stick sent by Kevin. The walking stick is rather unique and rare. Um, it belonged to Reverend Andrew Arnold Lambing, early 1900. He lived until 1918. He was a historian and Roman Catholic priest. He documented the beginnings of the Roman Catholic Church in Western Pennsylvania, specifically Pittsburgh. He was a Monsignor. Interesting. A very famous guy. And there, of course, <gasps> is the um, inscription that it was his walking stick. It is gold on the top, and it is a typical traditional wooden walking stick. I, I 
Huh. Uh, this one's met tough. The senior down I, the street, you know. I feel like it's an item for the Heinz History Center. I really think that this is. I think it's pretty interesting. I was surprised to see it. Happy to see it. Okay, I made a guess. Okay. Uh, I, you know, I, 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 I keep it's up guessing to you. too low. Do you want to win or do you want to lose today? Oh, whoa! <laughs> Look at the pressure she puts on me, Dr. Lori. All right, keeping you in line. I think, I'm wrong. I think I'm you know wrong. what? I, you know what? I think this is a good number. Okay, what'd you go with? I went with 250. I said 550. It's worth 250, Heather. You oh! can say oh! <laughs> <laughs> Dr. I, Lori. I, I was sticking with my 250, and I was wrong. <laughs> she and just, I agree. You should have stuck with perfect. your 250. <laughs> And I agree it would be perfect speaking as a former museum director for the Heinz History Center. So maybe we could convince Kevin to talk to those folks. Yeah, I think that's Very a great cool. idea. Yeah, great really items neat, this week, Pete. Dr. Lori. Thank you. I know. You. Always fun. I'm going to see you next week. I'm so excited. I can't <laughs> wait. And we want to say thank you to everyone for sending us your pictures. You can send yours to our email. Just email us at ptl at kdka.com. Maybe yours will be chosen for a future episode with Dr. Lori.